is a one day race. I know what you're thinking, this could be the shortest video that GCN has ever produced. Yes, you're right, a one day race is indeed a race of one day. But how does this change the way that riders approach the race? Well, there are many one day races on the calendar and typically for professionals, they're around 200 kilometers in length. The five monuments, Liège, Baston, Liège, the Tour of Flanders, Paris, Roubaix, Milan, San Remo, and the Tour of Lombardy are significantly longer, at around 260 kilometers, with San Remo being very close to 300. In the past, one day races have been even longer than that. The Bordeaux to Paris, for example, was 560 kilometers or 350 miles in length. These days, the UCI limit the length of one day races to protect the health of the riders. Many of the major one day races come around the month of April and are known as the Spring Classics. Beginning with Milan San Remo, the riders then head to Belgium for a series of one day races which feature cobblestone sections before heading to the Netherlands and the Ardennes for the Hillier Classics. A further block of one day races comes in the autumn, including the World Championships which in modern times typically comes at the end of September. The situation of these races in spring and autumn means that the riders often have to contend with less than ideal weather conditions. There are no time bonuses in one day races. The first rider to cross the line will be crowned the winner. However, a team will still work in a similar way to stage races, in that they will protect their leader for as long as possible, sheltering him from the wind, placing him in the right position at the right time, and making sure they have enough food and drink. Good positioning and a high anaerobic capacity are both very important qualities for a good one day rider. Find yourself in the wrong place at the wrong time and your race can be over. The fact that there is no tomorrow means that everybody can give their all, leaders and domestiques alike. That, combined with the fact that the races are so long, makes many one day races a matter of attrition, with riders dropping off the back as much as attacking off the front. In the past, we'd often see riders winning both one day races and grand tours, the likes of Eddie Merckx for example, but with everything becoming more specialist in the modern era, that is becoming increasingly rare. Stay tuned to GCN where we will shortly be releasing a video explaining what the monuments of cycling are. The term sprinter is relatively self-explanatory, but what are the qualities that you need to be a successful one? Well, the first component to being a successful sprinter is having a high short-term power output, 